Hey, what's up, YouTube? Romeo back. Um, been, you know, real sick, real tired, and basically my tank has went straight to the craps. As you can see, I've hair algae everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. Um, it's not affecting my coral. These are my two hammer corals that are huge now. My Duncan colony that's huge now. Um... I have two green leathers up there and several over there. So these small leathers have come from this big one. So it it basically cut itself off. I didn't frag it or anything. So those three and those two came from that one. No fragging involved, just one day it just ripped itself up. But as you can see, the hair algae is everywhere. It's covering my Bam Bam corals. Um my rock is you can literally braid that is so long um it doesn't appear to be bryopsis it appears just to be green hair algae derbas derbasia i believe so um <clears throat> my strategy is the rocks that can come out i'm going to use spray them with you know take them out spray them with uh, peroxide give them a good rinse and put them back and then i'm going to try fluconazole um I've heard several reefers that have good success with it, so I'm going to try it. Um, as you can see, this hair is just going crazy. It's all in the sand, all on the rocks, basically everywhere. So, um, my approach is first, I'm going to take out this rock because these actually I on plugs and they come out so I'm going to take this rock out I'm going to take this rock out um going to take out this rock here those are green star polyps and I'm going to uh, oh and this rock here I'm going to take those rocks out give them a hydrogen peroxide bath rinse them off in RDI water put them back and then I'm going to do a huge water change to just break down some of the nutrients and then I'm going to try the fluconazole or I think I got a reflux or reef HD one of those so I'll be right back as I do the water change okay so here's some of the things I have used to uh, fight this hair allergy I've used Fosgard I use Fosnet and I've used Foss Bond all by Seachem. Um, had little to no effect. I even used a whole lot um, to no effect. The reason I didn't, well, I kind of pulled back from using Foss Guard because it's known to, well, anecdotally, if that's a word, it's known to uh, make leathers die. Even though Seachem has put on their website that there's no evidence of that, but a lot of reefers have said that aluminum oxide um, phosphate removers will make your green leathers or uh, toadstool leathers, anything, close up and die. So, kind of pulled back from using Fosguard. I started using Fosnet, no effect. I used Fosbond, all by Seachem, like I said, no effect. Um, I tried this Cobalt Complete Reef. Um, it's carbon and phosphate resin and organic scavenging resin. Didn't do nothing but make my water real clear and pretty. Did nothing for the algae. Then I used uh, this Brightwell Aqualics Razor, which is designed to clean the surfaces of lab rock coral and all that. Um, did nothing really. So, you know, my last resort, <clears throat> um, I got this reflux now it says antifungal fish medication but I think that's just a branding thing uh, so I got this off Amazon for, I think it was like $13.99 um, I don't know if I can zoom in but it says turn off the skimmer uh, I want to focus okay there you go turn off the skimmer for the first three days you can use GFO, but remove activated carbon, any other chemical filtration. Uh, most people say it takes about 14 days. I'm going to open it up. So 
So it is a capsule. So you would actually break the capsule open, mix it with tank water, pour it in. I think it's, let me see, one capsule per 10 gallons. Come on, zoom in. Okay, just take my word for it. One, one capsule per 10 gallons. So, I'm going to try that. <clears throat> and it says 14 days. It should be great results. So, I'm going to get a calendar. And I'll mark off day by day. So, I'll do a review video of week 5, week 10, and week 14. So, stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to start mixing the reflux. The directions say uh, remove your skimmer, but you could use GFO and they recommend mechanical filtration. So it calls for one capsule for every 10 gallons. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it's going in a 55 gallon reef. So we're going to open up five capsules. And I'm just using tank water. One. Two. Three. Wow, that was never ending. Okay, three. Four. And five. Just grab both ends and twist a little bit. Like I said, I'm using tank water. Oh, a little bit more. All right. And that, take a spoon or knife or fork or whatever. Just give it a good stir. Get back in there. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with me stirring it. So, I'm going to stir it till it's dissolved. I'm um, going to ahead and get it poured in the tank. Like I said, turn the skimmer off. You can leave your GFO in, leave your mechanical filtration in. And after, I'm going to say it's 13 days, do a water change. So I'm going to pour it in the tank. Um, pour it right in front of the, the MP40 so it disperses all around the tank. And in five days, I'll check back with you guys and let you know the results. And then in 10 days, and then the final 14th day when I do the water change. So happy reefing. Okay, for those that have asked, each capsule, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, each capsule is 200 milligrams. So each one of those little capsules is 200 milligrams. So it's 10, no, it's one capsule for every 10 uh, gallons you have in the tank. And uh, it does say after three weeks perform a minimum 30% water change. Filter sucks. I recommend you doing treatment. The doses can be double for faster results. <sighs> I wouldn't double dose, but you know, in this hobby, nothing ever happens fast, so there's no such thing as faster results. So, yeah, one capsule for every 10 gallons. Um, once you're done, it should be kind of well, it's not going to all the way dissolve. 
but just make sure you put it in the tank in an area half flow, such as your uh, such as your filter uh, overflow, or in front of a power head, or anywhere in the tank that has half flow. So, like I said, I report back in five days, then ten days, and then at the three week mark. So, like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing.